Adobe Express has actually been around for a lot longer than most people realize. It was called Adobe Post, then Adobe Spark, and now Adobe Express. And in the many, many years that I've been using them, I've seen how rapidly their app has evolved. So it's actually now enabling us to create content much faster while staying on brand, especially for our social media content. Aside from the AI that we don't see firsthand inside Adobe Express, I do want to highlight the generative AI that we can see and play with inside Adobe Express. So there are some key ones that we can see here right now. There's four of them that we can start testing. Text to template is currently in beta mode, and I will give you an example of how we can use that to create content. And essentially, it's all working with prompts. We create a prompt to create a template or text effects or a text to image. So let me share with you a couple of examples just so that we can get our ideas and creative wheels warmed up. Now, I just want to create something fun and creative. So let's say I just want to do something a little bit random. And what I put was a textured background with melting wall clocks and colorful splatter. So I'm going to click on generate and see what it creates. Once it's done creating our text to image, we'll still be able to see the prompt here. We can then make modifications, whether we want it to be photorealistic, like a graphic, art-like, and then we can select different various styles. And then at the very bottom, we can look at different results, which can be really great. So it's a little bit of a practice trial and error. Like with any other AI or generative text to image platforms that we can use or tools, this is going to just be a matter of you testing out the content, looking at different techniques. I also tried it in a different context, different prompt, and you can see the results are completely different. Now, what is really nice about when you work with Adobe Express, unlike other areas where if we put in a prompt, then it's gone, we don't have the access to it. If I select the image again, we'll see a window pop up on the left that says text to image. I can click on that and it'll actually take me back to the original text to image or the original prompt that I fed it and I can either modify it, tweak it, or look at other options from that particular design that uh, align a little bit better with me. So this is a really, really great benefit to using Adobe Express and the text to image tab because you're able to go back and re-edit it and fine tweak it to your liking. Now let's look at text effects. Let's say I'm looking for some dripping paint on a rusted background. Again, I'm just exploring and then I'm going to click on generate. And it's going to open this window where it's going to start modifying or making these text. And I can always go in and double click to change the type. And I'm just going to go in. I put my text in and I just wanted to see a little bit of a different option. So this is really great because Adobe Express is already applying this particular style that I gave it in the prompt to all the text. So if I wanted to go back and change it, as you can see, once I clicked out of it, that disappeared. So again, with the same example that we looked at with the text to image, same thing happens with Adobe Express. We can click on this text here, go to text effects on the bottom left hand side, and it's going to bring this window back up. Now I can go back in and adjust if I want the type to be a little bit more loose or a little bit more tight. And this gives you all sorts of different options, similar to like we were able to do on the other design styles or types of styles that we want this to edit with. I can select different variations as it loads. And then uh, let's say I want to give a different contrast to the rusted. And now I want this type to have more of an alive effect to it. So I'm going to go down to text effects and I can say cactus with flowers because why not? And now we see all our variations here. I can actually move this here so you guys can see the differences 
on how it's creating and rendering different results based on this prompt. I can always go and tweak it again with the style that I want and the results that I'm getting. But this is a really great way for you to experiment. It takes time, but I wanted to highlight this text effect feature inside Adobe Express that you can use for your social media content or your blogs or wherever you're promoting what you do. Now, once you're done with this, you can either save it as a PNG or save it as a PDF. If you actually want to be able to edit this inside Illustrator or Photoshop, this would probably be the best way to do that. Or if you use a PNG, or if you keep it inside Adobe Express, you'd be able to have these images. And as you can see, you're able to layer content. So it's not just creating a white background behind it. It has a transparency with the type. I wanna go and use text to template, which is on the beta mode right now, and define a specific template that I wanna create. So I'm gonna click generate and you'll be able to see the magic behind text to template. So I added in the prompt, a social media template for a blog with sans serif fonts that talks about business productivity tools. Some of these can really help feed the prompt. And of course, this is a trial and error process. So if you don't get what you want, you can keep trying. And these are some really great starting points, but I can always click on generate more results to see what other options I can get. So I have several options that we can work from in these designs. And even if you don't end up with the exact results that you're looking for, remember this is beta and you wanna keep trying, feeding different prompts, but you can also see variations from a particular design that you might like. Now, let me talk about why this is so powerful. While you may not end up with something that is 100% on brand, this is a starting point. You can literally take these templates and modify them to fit your brand identity, and your brand needs, your colors, your typography, all of these elements. But what is brilliant is that it's provided some copy already for you based on the prompt that we fed it. It also created images and visuals based on these prompts that we've fed. So it's a really, really great starting point, especially when you hit a creative rut or you want inspiration. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.